sort of know where they're supposed to be, but most of the time the other people start at the point first. I don't want anyone to rush off and then to get you because you'll look too comfortable, I think we'll start down here first. Get the kings fed and then we'll finish at the board. There's another reason for this, of course, is that we do at this time of year get visited by natural wildlife because you hear the water yeah. above your head. And what we get to the pool is just a feeding frenzy. You won't hear a word I'm saying even over this. You can hear them calling their friends in now. The only thing with this, a couple of safety reasons is one, if you've got hoods and umbrellas, it's a good idea to look up. I'm not going to reiterate that one. Um, because the one thing that's really likes to do before it has its lunch is well, sort of get rid of its breakfast, basically. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, a good idea. Well, I'm just going to start. If you are unfortunate enough to get anything on you, lottery tickets are always another good idea. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go out and start feeding, and because it's a nice and relaxed day, and because there's not many of you, if there's anything, if you're in a rush or anything, or you, you don't want to stick around for the whole talk, if there's something in particular you'd like to know, just shout out a question and I'll try and answer it if I go on. Other than that, I think, guys, we'll make a start with feeding yet. So, what the best thing to do is find Spike, and then use Spike as a human shield. <laughs> Thank you. 
does, and you're right. But I push in your way.
see earlier. But one thing we get asked a lot is how come they only get fed once a day and why are some of them missing out on their food? The reason they only get fed once a day is because our group of penguins are too overly fed, basically. Now in the wild they get their food from the, from the ocean. Shoulder fish don't turn around every day at half past two out in the ocean. You have to go and search for them. By searching for fish, it means that you might stumble across a shoal. Uh, across a shoal. So as soon as they start to sort of come, as soon as they start to find the shoal, they decimate it. They eat as much as they can in one sitting. This way, they can eat loads, store it inside themselves like a big fridge, try not to throw it for them, try and hang it for them, otherwise they don't. Tends to mean 
but we don't have any bloodline to get them going again. So they are actually very old, and that's what the lymph is about. The odd lymph is basically their joints getting a bit stiff. There's one or two in here with extremely long nails. Unfortunately, we can't clip those nails. We've tried, but unfortunately, because they're on a high-protein diet, their nails grow incredibly quick. And all the worst thing is with them, when you do try and cut their nails, their nails tend to bleed, so we bleed their nails at it. And they don't seem to get any longer. The other thing that you might spot as well, very quickly, talking about uh, lymphs and things, is uh, you might find that some of our paintings, like that one there, possibly spike as well, are getting a little bit fat. Mm -hmm. Now this is going back to me saying that they get overly fed. They're not overfed, so don't worry. The reason they're getting fat is because it's that time of the year for them, where they need to drop their feathers and get new feathers coming through. In the wild, dropping feathers is a risky business because when you drop your feathers out, you can't go swimming. These don't get their food anywhere else in the ocean, other than the ocean, and if you can't go swimming during that period, you have a big problem. So they pile on the weight. They grab their, they basically pile on the weight, get themselves very, very fat, get themselves very, very fat, and then drop all their feathers out. And as they're dropping their feathers out, they crash diet, basically. And so by the time they finish bolting, they're then back to their normal size. Come on. Come on. You can't go to sleep there, it's not warm enough. Joseph, I'm taking pictures of you. Get up then, and then I'll take the camera away. Come on, girl. <laughs> I'm going to get down there and kiss you then. Okay, here I come. He wants kisses. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Ah. <coughs> he wants kisses. You wait, I'll get you. Mind back. <laughs> it's alright. Get closer and the birds will come and sit on you. Sorry? Do what? Oh, yeah, I was holding it in. Hey?
I don't know if mine was recording or not. <laughs> Probably not.